Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's another day on uh, Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas. We're still sailing around the Caribbean. Um, today we do stop in Nassau in the Bahamas. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay on the ship or get off the ship. Um, we're just gonna wing it. We'll see what happens. Um, I've been to Nassau several times before, so I don't feel compelled to get off the ship in Nassau. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. So, sometimes some of my favorite things to do are just, you know, sit on the sun deck and read, like with the views of Nassau, cause it's, it's just beautiful. But we'll, we'll see, we'll see what happens. But for now, it's early, it's like, I don't know, nine o'clock? So time for breakfast, time for food. There was a big old line at Windjammer, so I figured I would try the Solarian Bistro again. It was good the other day, it'll probably be good today. Okay, so here's today's breakfast. We got some scrambled eggs and some fruit and the, the roast tomatoes. I love these things. I This is like one thing from a British breakfast that I really love. And I got an omelet. So we got some mushroom spinach and they have white cheddar. Yep, that is what I got. Breakfast was delicious. Well, mostly delicious. Had little omelet issues going on. Um, the first omelet they gave me was not the omelet I ordered. They gave me a ham and cheese omelet. And I don't eat ham, so I couldn't even salvage that. So I brought it back to them and I was like, oopsie. And then they gave, they fixed my omelet, but it was like overcooked, not, not burnt, but it was definitely overcooked. So not the end of the world, not just not world's best omelet today. But no worries, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm in, on a couch thingy, like a, a couch bed in the middle of the Caribbean with chill music, great atmosphere. It's okay. It's okay. No worries. Hakuna Matata. Billiards. And nobody's around. Nobody's playing. So... I think I'm gonna play. I'm gonna go to the other pool table and grab a rack. And then... So full disclosure, I have yeah. not played billiards in years and years, but I have fond, fond memories of playing with my dad. Okay, first one I got in was stripes, so I'm gonna try to get all stripes in. I did a good job breaking up the board though. I got a collar, I got a solid in. I was doing so good. I only have uh, three left on the board. I was getting close. So that was a lot of fun. I haven't played billiards in years, like like a, like a decade probably. Oh my gosh, I forgot how much fun that is. I need to do that more often. So I'm up and about and I'm just wandering around the ship seeing what's going on. But, but, remember how the other day I found a duck? Remember, oh what luck, I found a duck? I need to hide that duck. I've been carrying it around with me, waiting for the perfect spot and moment. I need to find a place. I need to hide the duck. I want it to be a place where people will find it, right? Okay, duck. Find a good home. There's an activity I want to do. Uh, if you've seen my previous cruise videos, you know I like folding things, whether it's origami, towels, napkins, whatever. I like folding things. So they have a napkin folding uh, tutorial, demonstration, if you will. So that's where I'm heading. Okay, I have my napkin and my workspace.
So it was great. We got to fold the napkins. We made a candle and a rose and a flower. Then afterward, they gave us like a pamphlet with instructions how to do other napkin folding that we didn't get to today. So let me pull to the side, I'll show you. So this one, it has the orchid and it's like, it's a pamphlet, but it's printed one side. So it's like not in the right order, but that's okay. Then pyramid and rosebud and a crown and a cardinal's hat and a sailboat and a candle. That's what we did today. That's it. So we gave some basic uh, flower, uh, some basic napkin folding ideas. So I really appreciate the, the instructions that you could take home because during the time when the world closed down, to make myself feel better, um, I started making towel animals and putting them on my bed each night and it was just like really good for my mental health and made me feel like I was on a cruise a little bit. I got to take that piece of it home with me. So I really appreciate the, the to-go pamphlets with the instructions. And like that, we go to an event and the duck has been rehomed. Oh, that makes me happy. The duck found a new home. So I came back to my room, got my swimsuit on. I'm very shiny because I just put all my sunblock on. Um, we're, we're in Nassau, so I am going to go top deck. I'm going to go enjoy the beauty of Nassau from top deck. And got my book, going to sit and just bask in the glory that is here. So that's the plan. Let's head up. Ah, yes. Up on deck, Caribbean music playing, and I'll, uh, I gotta pick my view. Let, let's, let's decide what the view should be. Here, this is the port, so this is everyone's getting off. You could see so many people are getting off right now. We just got the all clear to go ashore. And there's also two other uh, ships here. There's a Carnival Sunrise and Carnival Legend are also here. So we'll, we'll see if they're here all day with us or if they're gonna skedaddle earlier because they were here before us and we'll see. But this is the port and basically there is stuff to do. Like if you, this is a walkable port and I've been here a bunch of times. There's a lot of shopping right off the, the ship. There's also a lot of history here. You can also go and get off the ship and you can go and see some of the history like Queen's Staircase is here, the Parliament Building. One place that I've been, and I, if it's still open, I don't know, I was here a few years ago, there was a chocolate shop. And I was here before I couldn't eat uh, sugar. So this was, I've tried this, I can recommend this. There is a chocolate here, and they do a behind the scenes so you could see how these chocolate truffles are made. And I can tell you, if I could still eat sugar, I'd be getting off the ship right now. But since I can't, and I want to avoid temptation. Um, I'm gonna stay on the ship. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely recommend that chocolatier. These carnival ships, they look like they have so many like outdoor activities. They have water slides, they have like a bunch of water slides. The other one I could see water slides. This one has like an outdoor sort of like adventure court. I don't even know what to call it. It's an adventure playground. A mini golf over there. They got a lot of outdoor activities on this carnival ship. Look at that. But, but what we got that they don't have, Flow Rider. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I mean, I got a soft spot for that Flow Rider, man. It's a uh, special for Royal Caribbean ships. And man, if I didn't hurt my back, I didn't hurt my back, I'd be on it right now. I would totally be on it right now. This is, this is the day, this is the moment for it. Lowrider's great. It's like all this water rushing up and it, it's like simulated boogie boarding or surfing. And uh, the, the staff will give you instructions and teach you how to do tricks. You do have to sign a waiver to use the flow rider. It is a high risk activity. You can get injured on it, but me personally, I enjoy it. But because it is high risk, not this time. Oh, not this time. It's okay, it's okay. Going to find a sunny spot with a view. Here is the view from the other side of the ship. So you can see all this beautiful turquoise water. And then that's Atlantis. That's the big resort and casino and water park. That's in the distance over there. Those two tower buildings, that is Atlantis. And oh, this view. 
This view. I want to be on the Atlantis side, but I want to be close enough that I could hear the Caribbean music, but that it's not super loud. So that's where I'm headed. And it's bringing me to about over here. Yeah. I could hear the music. Got the view. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this lounger right here. This one's me. Yes. This is what I was looking for. This is what I love about cruising. I'm gonna lay here, wiggle my toes, watch the ships go by. Like there's that ship over there. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit and enjoy this. Toe wiggle. Okay, here is a Mercury tip and trick. If you like reading on a Kindle or you like reading in general on a very bright day like this. So if you can get a lounge chair, like a standard lounge chair like, like this. One of these style lounge chairs that's mesh. So I take my Kindle and when I'm out here, see it's like very bright, a lot of glare, hard to read, right? But, but watch this this under there and what I do is when I lay down and I look through I don't know if this is gonna work or not yeah see that's my hand my Kindle's right here and then when I'm laying down my head is there and it creates a shadow so I don't know if you can see it's in the shadow back there but basically I put the Kindle in my shadow and I can read through the mesh on the lounger. So that is a Mercury tip and trick for reading while getting some sun. That is uh, just what I do. That's enough sun for now. I'm getting hungry and I'm definitely thirsty. I'm not hydrating enough. I need to hydrate, but it is, it is lunchtime. It's like 1.30, so to the wind jammer. So I found a seat out back at the wind jammer on the outside deck. So overlooking the carnival ship and out to sea. And this is what I got for lunch. So I made my own salad and they had some, some grilled chicken at the salad bar today. So I got my protein. So grilled chicken and the chickpeas. And then I got some Edam cheese and cheddar cheese. And we had some zucchini. This was like a vegetable medley and a tomato sauce, kind of like a ratatouille, but I forget what it, they called it. And then we had some peas and carrots. So veggie, he veggie heavy lunch. Considering that my typical lunch at home is a salad, um, a veggie heavy lunch for me is, is the norm. So this is totally good. This is right up my alley. We are testing the emergency equipment. Look, they have the emergency life, uh, the lifeboat. Yeah, they're testing the emergency equipment. So after lunch, I came back out. I brought a little fruit plate with me and I came to get a little more sun and they were testing the emergency lifeboat. How cool was that? This is the second time I've seen them test emergency lifeboats while I'm in Nassau. So, and it's always when we're in the third position, like the third docking. So I don't know if that has something to do with it or it's just coincidence, whatever the case may be. But it's really cool and I get to see the little the little lifeboats like floating in the water. It's, it's cool. It's like, it's good to know they work. Yes. So I'm going back to my room and this hallway is just full of affirmations. Um, the, the ship is full of art. There's art everywhere. But the art that happens to be in the hallway is all I really love it. It's it's like I'm not a big affirmations person, but the ones that they have hit home. And these hallway lights are on a sensor. I don't know if you got noticed it got brighter. But look, look. Today be the best version of you. Life is on your side. It's never too late. Everything is possible. And be present. I like this one the best. Today, be the best version of you. I'm always trying to be the best version of me. You know, we're always learning. We got really dark because I'm at my room. Ah, okay. I, I got an alert on my app that there was an event that I said I wanted to do, and I made it just in time. I made it just in time. Uh, Star Wars trivia. Star Wars trivia, everybody. Let's see how I do. So I'm at the schooner bar. I got my little trivia sheet and a pencil. We'll see how I do. Star Wars, let me hear some. Yeah! Woohoo! Here we go. 
Okay, that's gonna be funny because ladies and gentlemen, I haven't seen any movie of Star Wars trivia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are the name of the species of alien that are hunter gatherers and look like teddy bears? What are the names of the species of aliens that are hunter gatherers and look like teddy bears? Moving along. Moving along. Darn. Who has the very first spoken line in Star Wars for a new hope? C3PO. C3PO, correct. Then he say they shut down the main reactor, will be destroyed for sure. I did not do as good as I was hoping to do, but that's okay. But a very interesting thought came up. So the quiz master has never actually seen Star Wars before. So that got my brain wheels turning and I'm wondering, if you were gonna introduce somebody to Star Wars, would you have them watch them chronologically in the order they were released? Or would you have them watch them chronologically in the order that they sort of like are meant to, to be in in the canon of Star Wars? Does that make sense? So like, if you were watching them chronologically when they were released, you would start with episode four and watch the original four, five, uh, four, five, and six. So like A New Hope, um, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi, and then go to like The Phantom Menace and you know, so on and so forth. Or would you have them start with The Phantom Menace? And then what about the spin-offs? What about like row one? Do you fit those in in the timeline of canon or do you fit like the Han Solo, a Star Wars story, like in the chron what, chronologically when it was released? What would you do? Let me know. So it's been a great day. We did all sorts of stuff today. We got some breakfast at Solarium Bistro. We did some Star Wars trivia. We got some sun. A lot of rest, a lot of, a lot of good relax in the sun kind of day. It was great. It was great. This was the kind of day that I needed. I loved it. So there is still a lot on the docket for tonight, but I'm going to split into two videos. I'm always showing you what I'm doing during the day. Let me show you what it's like at night. That'll be tomorrow. So until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.